I'm the manager of IBEX Export Orientation Programme. Um, the EOP programme has been around since 1983. It was originally set up for the food and drink industry uh, and generally it moved into um, the sales and marketing graduate placement programme. We now see ourselves as the premier graduate placement programme in the country. How it works? is um, we create a shortlist of 200 graduates. This is done, we will get about a thousand applications, we will bring about 500 people to interview, uh, and then we create the shortlist of 200. So what happens then is when a company uh, is looking for a particular set of skills, they would come to me and say, okay, David, we're looking for maybe someone with sales, marketing, or, and then that's where the language would come in. So maybe fluent Spanish as well, or whatever the requirements are. My name is Constance, um, I'm currently on the EOP programme with IBEC and I work with Slaney Foods in international sales and business development and the reason I got this opportunity is because I had languages. So many multinational companies come into Ireland and set up their base here because we speak English, because they want to be able to work with in Europe. They need people with languages. Ireland's too small a country just to be dealing in Ireland. So they're setting up headquarters here, they're setting up offices here because it's a great country to work in, but also they're looking for people to then move on and work with other European countries. Obviously, languages are hugely important for that. English isn't enough. And if you want to give yourself an edge in the jobs market when you leave college or when you leave school, languages are the one thing that you can't go wrong with. My name is Lorna McNerney. I work for the ATA Tools Group in Cavan. We manufacture tungsten carbide burrs and pneumatic tools. And I use my German on a day-to-day -day basis. And my role here is purchasing coordinator, but I also do some of the in-house IT. I think languages are incredibly important in Irish society now at the moment, because not only are we becoming an international society with a lot of foreign nationals living and working here, but our biggest um, asset our exports and our biggest customer base, certainly here, is Germany. Uh, it's abroad anyway. A lot of companies, if they want to expand, they need people with languages. Everything else can be learned. You go into a new company, they have a new account system, they have new software, they have different software to what you've used before. You have to learn that. You can't go into a company and learn a language. My name is Ursula Tipp. I work for one of the largest law firms in Ireland, Byrne Wallace. I'm heading the tax department in Byrne Wallace and for me, using languages is a very, very important matter on a daily basis. If a client translates what he's trying to tell me, first from his mother tongue, German in my example, and then into English, he will already miss certain points without knowing because he doesn't know the right words for, for, um, for a term, for a legal term for example, and then he will already sort of present me a slightly different case from the real thing. And if then I on the phone with him and him a bit nervous, he will lose another bit. So the story, like in a Chinese whisper, which I get at the end, will be a very different story from the story he actually wanted to tell me. By, having the same, by speaking the same language as my potential or, by my, or my client later when he is my client, I can bridge this. Language serves as a bridge. So far it has proven very, very difficult to find really fluent, uh, fluency in the language skills. So if anybody's out there who's really fluent in German and French and Spanish, I like to hear from them. They can come to me and I promise them a very nice intern program.